What is up guys? So today we have a mukbang going on. We went to our local favorite like Italian spot. It's called CJ's Pizza. And Grinders. Yeah, in Connecticut. We got sausage. cheese ravioli with sausage. meatballs and red sauce. Yeah, we're we're going to share everything of course. It's just like Italian bread. And then came up with a new little pizza creation today. Hamburger, pepperoni, and bacon. Like a cheeseburger pizza. We had to go out to go handle something real quick. So I was like, you know what? We might as well just grab food. We were going to have like a healthy chicken dinner. But it's Wednesday. And it's supposed to be my rest day today. And I didn't rest. So I'm still going to eat like crap. So don't talk that mess in my comments. <laughs> it, also, guys, uh, she's probably going to post this video to both of our channels, so please subscribe to Coach Amy Viper over here and Tower Dog Van, of course. So these are all items that we haven't had from this place yet, so... All right. Yeah. Yeah. But this, oh, this ended up being that cheese ravioli. I was more stoked on the, she wanted pasta, I wanted pizza, so this was like perfect. Gotta put the red peppers on there. Yeah. For one, and then for two, you gotta, just a little, you know, a little dash. <laughs> yes, she has conformed me. <laughs> I was never really a hot per, well, like, if you're from California, you know what Del Taco is. So I love Del Taco's mild sauce, but it wasn't hot enough. So I'd put like 10 packets on my stuff, right? And then I got with her and I started messing with hot sauces a little bit more. Well, right before. But then I found Tapatio when I was with her because she bought me a big ass bottle of it. <laughs> and ever since then, I've been obsessed because it's bomb, bro. Like, I don't know if you guys mess with this. But out of all the hot sauces, in my opinion, this is the best on like food, and then Cholula's the best with like eggs. The flavor is just <laughs> remarkable. But, but you still eat your eggs with tapatio for now, huh? Yeah. So let's see how this pizza is. Wow, I thought he was going to be like... Oh. It's good. Mm -hmm. Different? No, it's really good. Mm -hmm. I just ordered it with light sauce, and it's pretty saucy, so... Mm -hmm. I would give it like an 8 out of 10. It's really good pizza. It's just got too much sauce for me personally. Most people like normal sauce. I don't. Uh, but this is bomb pizza. I think I would have to rate my meal 8 out of 10 also, just because it's really good, but it's kind of bland. I could probably make that, fix that, but... I'm starving right now, guys. <laughs> you are you cooking yet? What are your plans for the <coughs> spring month? As a fighter. As a fighter? Yeah, we trying to pick up another fight. That's what we've been doing. Mm -hmm. We're trying to pick up another fight. I'm trying to pick up a fight with BYB. Um, Which is a triangle ring. It's kind of cool. Yeah, they're a smaller promotion than the BKFC is, but a bigger one than Valor was. Mm -hmm. um, but they have a Trigon, is what it's called. You guys should go check them out. BYB Extreme Fight Series. And this is the most, like, BKFC sick, right? But it's the same sport as that in a ring that's literally, like, six by six by six triangle. So, for me, personally, I fight forward. And people like to run around and <laughs> stay away from me, right? They're not going to have anywhere to run around. If they run around, they're into a corner, and I'm going to eat their face. So, basically, in my opinion, I want to compete for the BYB because it is the most extreme. I also think that the guys have more grit there, that they are hungrier there, that they're not all there for show, that they really just want to scrap. And third... The Police Gazette belt is at the BYB now. It's not at the BKFC anymore. Like, the BKFC gives out their own belt. The BYB gives out the Police Gazette belt. I want the Police Gazette belt. I don't want a BKFC we've belt. We've actually held that belt in our hands, and then he took a picture with it, and we met the guy, Scott. 
that holds it. Um, and yeah, it's we've seen it, we've touched it, and I'm we a plan on see having it again in our hands. So for both of us, mm -hmm. not just for me, but also for her. I'm her first professional athlete that she's coached. So to have me do what I know I'm going to do is going to be big for her also because she'll just pick up more fighters. Um, I have a feeling that when we do get over there that girls are going to start hitting her up to coach them because it would be easier for a woman to have a woman coach like they would understand each other a little more I think. I think men are not sensitive enough to coach a woman. Yeah, I think that the biggest, like, we had struggles in our relationship in early on by, like, personal problems, but I feel like currently, or a few months ago, it was, like, noticing, telling that difference, you know, like, okay, I'm your girlfriend right now, but if I'm five to seven, I'm your coach, so don't be hugging me, don't be, like, being romantic with me, like, we need to be, like, coach and fighter you know what I mean so yeah I think we finally found that balance like we went back to our gym and when I was when we first started going there uh, I was working out also so I feel like that was taking up a lot of my focus so um, now we're back and I'm there as a coach only I'm not there to work out I work out upstairs and it's been working out great like we can we can break off that relationship for those two hours and I think our bits have improved and he's improved um, just being around other fighters is just awesome for him um, and for me too like I learn just by watching guys like I'm an observer and I'm watching and I'm learn I'm trying to learn or I'm in there editing like I'm not in there just sitting <laughs> So, for, from 5 to 7, I'm single. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, when you're in the gym, yeah. <laughs> she's my, what she means is she's yeah. my coach, not my fiance, not mm -hmm. my girl, not my wife. She's my coach, and I need to respect her as if she's my coach. Yeah. And she needs to put the effort into me, not in a, oh, baby, love you. Like, she needs to be following me around with a towel and water and, and tell, pushing me. Like, really, that's why we did this was so that when we are in that gym, I don't have to push myself. I, I need her to push me. Like, you can only push yourself so far. And she knows how to push me to where I don't even know that I could be pushed that far. You know what I mean? So not a lot of people can bring that out of me, but she can. Like, she could bring greatness out of me. I just need her full focus to do that. And when she was working out in there and I'm working out in there, I don't want to interrupt her workout, so I would get like a round of mitts in before we leave. That's not, that ain't feasible. That ain't what, that ain't the deal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I built a fucking gym here <laughs> so that I could get my time. Yeah. And it's fair. He pays me for my time, so I need to be there and be attentive to him only and... Yeah, and I've had like one fight, and I've been paying her as my coach for two years. So <laughs> it's not like I'm making all this money in fight. Like this is coming out of my pocket. Yeah, you know what I mean. I'm supporting my fight career. A lot of people like. Yeah, he is. Like, all of it. <laughs> Y'all see a video on my channel. It's a short. A uh, buddy of mine I met on TikTok actually, his son made it to nationals, and homeboy works construction and out of all people I know how it is to not be able to work during the winter time and to have a man be humble enough to get on the internet and be like yo my son made it to nationals but I don't know if I could flip this whole bill on my own like if you guys could just send a dollar whatever that would really help there's thousands of you guys out there if everybody sent one dollar so I was like yo I respect the fact that he's doing that He's willing to put his fucking pride to the side and get his money for this kid's thing. To and live his dream, because a little boy looks like he's, that's his dream. Right. And he works his ass off, that little kid. So, I posted a little short of him. 
on our YouTube. Yeah. So good. You know, I don't know his name, but he's from TikTok, and um, yeah, we we will follow him, and we just love seeing him do the grind, and then his dad also fights, so it's like a father and son duo, and yeah. It's pretty cool. We they love, work hard together. Yeah, we love to support other fighters, especially because we know how expensive the sport is, guys. Yeah, it's like not cheap. Nice. And and if you know any fighters and they're your friends and you don't buy tickets to their fight, you're not their friend, bro. <laughs> because that is like, for boxers especially, if they don't sell a certain amount of tickets, they might end up owing the money for those tickets that they were on contract to sell. Yeah, Danny just told me that the other day and I was like kind of nervous. That ain't how bare knuckle works, so yeah, we're so. good. <clears throat> bare knuckle, the pay, the pay way is kind of like UFC. They we're going to announce it here. We actually are going to be ringside at our friend Stevie Jane Coleman's fight, mm -hmm. which is February 23rd in Springfield, Mass. If you guys are from the area, I highly suggest you guys come watch. She's a female boxer on the rise and just come support. It's going to be fun. It's on a Friday, so I know you ain't going to come and meet us. Friday. Yeah, come hang out with us. We'll have a chicken tenders with you guys <laughs> we don't drink alcohol but we will have a soda with you guys or water or whatever so. rebel bro yeah that's the next big fight at our gym so we're excited but we will have an interview with stevie before oh, yeah. her fight so stay tuned for that mm -hmm. don't worry about the fight yet because we're going to interview her before her fight on both of our channels save your coin though <laughs> save your save a little bit of money get yourself a ticket yeah, so like when I go to these events that my friends have fights at, if it's around us, I try to get VIP tickets. And I'm not doing that so that I can be like, oh, I bought VIP tickets. I buy the VIP tickets because that supports my friend. Because that makes sure that my friend sells a certain amount of tickets. And if my two tickets take that from a thousand that they owe for tickets to 700 that they owe for tickets that's a yeah. big dent they would do it every day i would say. do it <laughs> you know what i mean and so every one of these little events that i go to or any event that i go to i get us vip tickets so one we have a better experience and two my friends have a better odds of like making money off of their fight you know and not only that guys we love to show our we like to show our true colors and that's us like we love to support other people and be fully there like for row we're there we're paying attention and we're rooting you on we're not just you know doing our own thing or just filming no. we're there to support and that's because we love this person and we care about them and we want the best for them so yeah there's <laughs> no showing off over here but also we do film content so i need to be next to the ring yeah though. <laughs> and we <laughs> deserve to be next to the ring so. yeah is not, if you guys have never had a VIP experience, I highly suggest it. We haven't had a big event one yet, but even with these small ones, there's so much of a difference, like big difference. I'm a loud mother effer, and I don't even feel like they could hear me because they probably can't, but me next to the ring, they could hear me over everything if I'm screaming. Dante's fight, I had no voice, but... <laughs> Most fights, I'm the loudest dude in the whole place because I'm just always the loudest dude in the whole place. So when I'm right next to the ring, they can hear me. When I'm way out in the crowd, they can't. And it just makes me feel a little bit better that I could, you know, let them know that they're about to get knocked out. Or <laughs> Yeah, at the Golden Gloves, we actually sat ringside, but we didn't take the camera that day because we decided that. We were like, you know what, no, like, let's just, fo let's just focus and have a date night and just take a uh, breath of fresh air, you know, not worry about the camera. So that was actually refreshing, but... Stevie's fight. Yeah, we I'll have my camera. Um, the Golden Gloves is amateur boxing, and this event will be uh, professional boxing, so... We're going to get that on film. And not only that, we're going to have her on our channel. We're going to interview her. So, I mean, it goes hand in hand. <laughs> also, we're going to be interviewing Mikey, Marvelous Mikey, uh, Mike Juan. He's going to be coming on our channel. He just won his 20th, uh, or I don't know what number fight. 22nd fight. And 20th has, win. Yeah. He has two, two draws. Yeah. He has no losses. <laughs> 
So that's an honor when he comes on here and we're just going to drill his brain and see where it all started and because he's been boxing forever guys. <laughs> and he takes his time with me. Mm -hmm. He's been boxing for 20 years longer than I have so he knows endless amounts of he's forgotten more about boxing than I know. So like I watch him. I try to copy if I can. Our styles are nowhere near the same, but anything that I see that I can do that he does, I, I try to replicate it. Like, I look up to this kid and he's like way younger than me. <laughs> yeah, he does. Like, that's another thing. Like, Danny will be in, the, in there and he just comes up to him, works with him sometimes before his fight. He was really attentive to him too, so. Yeah, he's so cool and knowledgeable, like Danny said, so we're gonna Those people don't need to fucking do that. No, they don't. You know what I mean? <laughs> Who the hell is this guy? Like, yeah. they don't care. Especially because Danny's Mikey the does. only bare knuckle fighter in his current gym, so... Um, yeah. I'm the only odd man, like, I'm mm -hmm. the black sheep. <laughs> and nobody will spar me either, because they're like, Oh, he's crazy, he fights bare knuckle. Yeah, I should have just told him I'm an amateur knuckle. fucking boxer. <laughs> yeah. I think Danny's going to be sporting a heavier guy than him yeah. to borrow, so that's going to be exciting. And a lot heavier, too. I kind of wish, now that I'm thinking about it, I wish that we would have just, I would have just made you take the day off, so you would have been so energized for tomorrow, but... I okay. barely worked out today. Yeah. yeah. Alright, babe, so now that we're kind of done eating, you rate it 8 out of 10? That was garbage, <laughs> in my opinion. That ravioli, those meatballs sucked. We made it, it's from the bag. <laughs> I could make it way better. But the pizza smacks. And their sandwiches, I'm sure they smack. Next time we come here, I'll be honest with you guys, like, I can't judge meatballs. Don't take my judging on meatballs, because I don't like any yeah, fucking meatballs, so. Like meatballs. I just not, I just don't like it. But and I do, and they were not good. <laughs> their sauce is a little on the plain mm -hmm. it's just like tomato paste like you need to have some flavor <laughs> yeah guys so thank you guys for joining us in this little mukbang it was fun we like talking this is my second piece i forgot to put type of tea on <gasps> honey pissed <laughs> now i'm full <laughs> yeah guys i get full so quick like i that's why we share everything because I literally can eat off of Danny's plate and I'll be full. <laughs> but all this will be like leftovers. We don't care. I don't care about leftovers. I'll smack that for sure. Danny has to go to his shop tomorrow. I'm probably going to pack that for lunch. <laughs> he has a microwave. No, I'm just kidding. He used to have a toaster oven, but I guess it broke. That's kind of sad. That's really sad. All right, babe. Thank you so much for buying me dinner. I appreciate you, you. If you guys like these type of videos, make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Yeah, let us know because I'll be real with y'all. Creating content is hard as a mother effer. And what's even harder is to get subscribers. And what's even harder than that is supporting somebody to do this for us and it not make money. So if you guys would hit the like and subscribe, it would really help me out and it would help her to know that everything, all this work that she's doing is actually worth it. And yeah, we make no money off of YouTube. Like I know we have 6,000 people. We don't, We there's not money in YouTube until you're way up in the numbers. So yeah. the more of you guys that subscribe and like and comment and share, share it to your mama, to your auntie, to your grandma, whoever you think would enjoy our content. We're pretty interesting people and we're trying to make the best content we can for you guys. We're still learning how to edit. We're still learning how to shoot content at all. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this ride because it's been a wild ride the last year or so. And we're just we're just in the beginning. But we do want to say thank you because our on Danny's YouTube, we finally hit 6.2 thousand thousand fall subscribers and on my channel i'm actually one subscriber away from 100 so that's kind of cool i just started my channel so that's exciting um yeah but like daddy said it is hard to create content and come up with ideas and, and like go to work yeah. come back i'm working 14 hours i come home i gotta shoot a combo of the day for you guys and like 
make sure that I'm putting a short up a day yep. and then making sure we're putting up three videos a week which we normally do and it's a lot of work you guys mm -hmm. especially for free like <laughs> it's a lot a lot of work so Thank I don't just pay watching. Amy to coach me like she's a content creator she's a chef she's a dietitian she's my laundry lady and she would wipe my ass if I asked her to <laughs> so I really would I know. <laughs> Love you. Only if I couldn't. <laughs>